hey loves and welcome back to my channel it's ijoma here and in today's video we're making this halter neckline dress it is a flay dress with a halter neckline though the one i made for myself has a rope should i call it a rope or a belt at the neckline you can call it anything you want but the dress is really fine and if you want to achieve this you will need 2.5 yards of any fabric you're using the fabric should be up to 60 inches by 60 so this is the fabric it is called accordion it has a mixture of silver and gold and it is shiny really shiny now i will be making this dress with the help of this a-line dress pattern paper you know it is a flat dress right but if you want to make it easy for yourself just draft an a-line dress first of all a-line dress and then you mark the full length so now i'll be using this paper to cut both the front and the back the front has the front neckline is deeper than the back neckline but it will cut both the front and the back and it does not have any zipper allowance so there is no point drafting two papers for it now i will fold my fabric this is my fabric right this is 2.5 yards of fabric by 60 inches i'll go ahead and fold a triangular flay first of all you can see the way i am folding this triangular flay just go ahead and fold a triangular flay you can see how what it looks like and how the flay looks if you want it to be very full fine now after folding it you place your paper on that a on that flay that you sh you you folded then from your neckline you are going to connect straight down to your chest line from where you measure the width of your neckline you will connect straight down to your chest line or your armhole line if you want your neckline to be small you can come inside more so that the neckline will not be that wide but my own neck width is like three inches wide so if you want to make it small you can just measure 1.5 or 2 from the center front and then you will connect after that i will cut out the full length and you can see the way i am cutting it out and this is for the back you can see my armhole my armhole is connected straight to the width of my neckline or the wideness of my neckline so you are free to determine how wide you want your own neckline to be my own is somehow wider like it's reached my shoulder that areas i don't want it to be too small now i'm trying to like curve the down part of this flay you can see i did not make the the this dress a line i folded my a i, I folded my flay then i placed the a line paper on it this is for the back i will keep it aside and then i'll repeat the same thing for the front the only difference between the front and the back is that the front neckline is deeper than that of the back so after folding my flay you can see i folded a triangular flay i'll place my a-line paper on top of it again then i will go ahead and cut out my neckline and my full length and you can see that the wideness of my fabric is bigger than that of the paper then i will cut my neckline my armhole you can see the shape of our armhole and then the dress itself the side of the dress after cutting this i had to place the back on it i had to place the back piece on this one that i cut out newly to make sure that they are equal both the length and everything like i said if you want the wideness of your neck to be small like very small you are free to determine that on that paper then i'm trying to like curve my down part i'm trying to give my a my flay a fine shape and if you want to make it short you can also make it short now we are done trimming the down part i'll open up the front and you can see what i have there the next thing that i will do is to turn my armhole it's bias armhole armhole only please i will turn the boot armhole now we are going to cut out the fabric that we use for the rope at the neckline now i have 2.5 on fold on fold i am cutting out a long piece but if you're making a normal turtle neck you just measure your round neck if your round neck is 16 then you cut out your turtle neck it will be 16 also but for this one i am adding a rope to it and that's why i'm making it this long and it is 2.5 inches on fold 2.5 inch on fold then after cutting that i will fold this rope into two and i will notch the center of this rope i'll fold it into two and i will notch the center so this center will be at the side because that rope is on the other side then after notching this center you will measure your round neck my round neck is 16 inches 
16 divided by 2 is 8 inches, right? From that center notch, I will measure my round neck divided by 2 because this rope is on fold. So my round neck is 16 divided by 2. That is 8. And I'll go ahead and notch that 8. These notches will help me when I am fixing this rope. Then after doing that, I'll go ahead and close the remaining part of the rope. Except those notched areas. All those places that I notched, I will not turn it. I will not close it. So now you can see the center part of this rope is open. But the, the end or the edge is closed. So using with the help of my scissors, I'll go ahead and turn out this rope. I'll go ahead and turn out this rope. And you will notice that those places that I notched, are open like they are really really open so you can see i'll turn out the right side of the rope after turning that side i'll also turn the left side of the rope so after turning you can see that those notched areas are open i'll go ahead and iron and as you are ironing you should be ironing with your seam iron when you get to that open area just folding the seam allowance half inch half inch half inch on both sides just folding the seam allowance and iron because it will make it very easy for you to attach it to the, to your neckline to your round neckline you can see what i'm doing there just go ahead folding the seam allowances and then iron very well this is if you are adding a rope if you are adding a turtleneck this is what you are also going to do just that the length of your turtleneck will be small if your round neck is 16 inches you will cut out 17 that is 16 plus one inch for seam allowance you will cut out 17 you will turn and you leave some spaces open the space that you attach to your round neck so now this is the dress itself i have closed the armhole with a bias you will turn your armhole with your with your bias so from your shoulder to your chest line will be your armhole if you want you can come down a bit so after closing the front and the back armhole i'll place the two of them together you can see the way i placed the two of them i'll place them together and i'll go ahead and shape after shaping this is the time to attach our rope so if you want to make it easier for you you can just go ahead and hold down one side of this neckline because you know my own neckline reached my shoulder area some neckline are just small they are not wide so they will not reach your shoulder line right so after doing that you can just pin down one part and one part will be open of course just pin down one part and one part will be open one side will be open that side that will be open is where you are going to tie your rope on so this is what i have you just hold down one side just a bit just hold it down a bit now this is what i have and the other side is open that side will allow you to wear this dress easily and when you wear it you will now tie your rope around there so this is our rope and that center knot should be on the closed side of that neckline on the closed side of the neckline so from that center knot you will start spinning round like you will be you'll be pushing your neckline in between that open space on the rope i hope you understand what i mean you'll be pushing your neckline in between the open space and you'll be pinning down as you are pushing it in you'll be pinning it down round so if you're attaching a total neck also you will notch your sides you will notch your center so that you will know how to where to attach your neckline so you can see i am closing my neckline with the help of this belt i will just insert it inside and i will pin down after that i'll go ahead and run a stitch on it so this is what i have i'll run a stitch and then i'll come back and show you guys so after running the stitch you can see my neckline it is very fine and neat then i'll go ahead and trim down the full length also i want it to be short on my body and this fabric is stretchy so i'll just go ahead and trim down the full length after trimming down the full length i will turn it with a bias our neckline is neat and i'll go ahead and finish the full length of this dress so you can see our neckline our armhole everything is okay at the end of the day this is what we have i hope this dress is really beautiful in case you want to know the name of this fabric they call it accordion accordion a double c o r d i o n 
accordion in case you are looking for it in the market the picture on the thumbnail that's what they used it for so if you want to register for our ongoing physical lagos training these are the details you can just drop a comment in this comment section and i will give you direction on how to register for our lagos physical class see you in my next video bye